So today I'm going to talk about the paint, all the paintings I have on my palette and how they're organized. And because I get so many requests uh, for people asking me what, what paints are on my palette. So that's what I'm going to do uh, today in this painting tip. Talk a little bit about our paints in your palette. This is the board you get, the plastic box, and then this is where you put your paint. All of this goes into the freezer so your paintings last longer. So you take this out of the casing, put it on your easel, on your easel. Okay, so this is the paint saver palette. Okay, so I'm gonna show you mine. Mine isn't quite, because what we say is that when you get it, you figure out where you want your paint, and then you put a layer of paint down, and you, um, you let it dry, because it's a slick surface, and then you put your paint on that. Okay, so here is my um, palette, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about what all these colors are. Okay, this this color in the upper right or upper left hand corner is a um, permanent magenta. Then this is a cad scarlet, um, and these are both uh, Windsor Newton. This is a caput. Uh, let's see, it's a caput mortem violet, and that's a Rembrandt color right here. And then this is, uh, let's see, that's a. A um, burnt sienna right here. Then this is a um, raw sienna. Then this is a yellow ochre pale. And these are all Windsor Newton, except for that Caput Mortem. That's a Rembrandt color. And then here we have a. It's a blocks color, and it is light red. So here we go into the blues. Now this. This here is the um, Rembrandt color, and it's a Severus uh, blue, S-E-V-R-E-S, Severus blue. This is a Windsor Newton, um, this is uh, ultramarine. Then here I have, a, it's almost like a phthalo, it's a um, dioxazine purple. So I have it here so I know that when I go here, it's a very strong uh, color. I also have another phthalo right down here. This is a, um, a Rembrandt, it's a uh, phthalo blue, uh, it's a red hue. Then we go into the greens, which is an oxide of chromium here. Then I have a Viridian here. Here I have a Windsor Emerald. Here is a, um, that's a permanent green light. And then I have a cadmium green pale. Here's a, um, let's see, that's a, uh, Indian yellow here. This is cat, and these are all Windsor Newton. This is a cad lemon, a cad yellow, a cad orange, Windsor red, and then this is a permanent rose. And this is it's like a cad, a cadmium. Um, let's see, that's like a cadmium uh, or a Windsor M. Not Windsor, but I'm sorry, a alizarin crimson. But I use actually a, a permanent. Matter Deep Rembrandt, but they're very similar. It's a cool red. So that's my full pen. Then I have Titanium White. Uh, that's also Windsor Newton. So <clears throat> I don't recommend this to a beginning student. To a beginning student, I would have a cool red, which would be here, and then your warm red, which would be a Windsor red, cool yellow, which would be your lemon yellow, a warm yellow, which would be your cad yellow, and then I have a red blue, which is Eliz uh, ultramarine blue, and then this Severus is a green blue. So that's the six basic colors that we start with, and then as we develop, uh, you add more color. So that's my organization of my paints, and I never change where the paints are. It's like my keyboard, my piano keyboard. So once you decide where you want your paints, don't move them because um, I know exactly where to go when I'm painting. Um, so um, that just gives you a suggestion. I go from red to the yellows, then to the greens, and then I go up to the blues, then my um, earth tones. And then I have a few up in the uh, top that are, they look similar to other colors like Cad Scarlet's much redder, much warmer 
then my uh, Windsor Red or my Cat Orange. So um, I have it separate so I know that, you know, when I go there, I'm actually going to uh, uh, the uh, Cat Scarlet. So anyway, I hope this helps you organize your paints.